Hey, what's going on? Today's highlights. What's in your wallet? Spending a $2 bill. Okay? I'll be talking today in this show how to get a $2 bill. Spending a $2 bill and some history on the $2 bill. Unfortunately, not everybody know that $2 bill is still legal tender. So let's check out this video that I found that just describes how you can get a two dollar bill. I have to. Do you want to give them? Oh yeah, because I got a hundred dollars. Okay. As you see, you can go to the bank and get a $2 bill. A lot of people believe that it's out of circulation, but a little history that I found on Google before I, the show started. In reality, there are over 774 million $2 bills in circulation, and they're all valid currency, okay? The Federal Reserve has been printing $2 bills regularly since 1976. And after ending a decade-long hiatus, you can walk up to a teller, as you've seen here, at any bank and ask to withdraw a $2 bill. And they will give it to you. So just like we see in this video here, you can walk up to your bank teller. And if they have them, in, have them inside the bank, they will give you a $2 bill. So getting $2 bills are pretty yeah, easy. All right. Okay. We're not cleaning out of twos, are we? No. <laughs> there you go. So we can get some more twos if we need them? Yep. Cool. Definitely. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Have a good day. Cool. So what's going on? Oh, we were just uh, doing a little documentary shooting. Yeah, yeah. $2 bills. Bill. It's, all, it's all about the nature of oh, the yeah? Cool. Am I going to be in it? Well, yeah, we're working yeah. on it. Awesome. Awesome. Trying decide. to get permission. You can't just shoot in any bank. You got to get permission to shoot any in any bank. Also, you have to get permission to use footage that you find on the internet. So this is me making sure that I cover all my bases for this video here. Check it out. Disclaimer. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, view supporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. You got to make sure you can use the content. Can we, can we do it? That's the problem. Yeah. There we go. As we saw that right in this video, we can go into any bank in the United States and ask for a $2 bill. We can go anywhere in the United States as well and purchase anything with a $2 bill. You can even pay for your lunch, buy a TV or whatever. Now, the reason why I bring this video up, and I even showed you that I have $2 bills in my possession. You know, we give it out as gifts. You can get this from the U.S. Mint. And I may even give this away as a gar, you know, on the channel. So someone can have it in their collection, right? $2 bills, we may not have it in our wallet um, right now. But like you said, we can spend it anywhere. The reason why I did this video today, because I had a short that I put out maybe three months ago. And it just hit like 20,000 views. And I'm still getting comments on this short today. And I want to share that short because it proved that not everyone knows that $2 bills are legal tender. You go to jail for spending a $2 bill. Printer in this town of Los Gatos that makes these pads for me pads of two dollar bill and they meet the specs of the u.s government i wouldn't try what steve just did but someone did go to jail for spending a two dollar bill 
It was a gentleman who went to Best Buy's to spend 57 $2 bills. $2 bills are still legal tender in the United States. Embarrassing. You know, if you're an American citizen and don't know we have $2 bills in our currency, you shouldn't be a cashier because look what can happen. So as you see, people go to jail for spending $2 bills because not everyone know. Now, the unfortunate part is that our youth, they didn't grow up seeing them. But as I shared, the history of the $2 bill, in March of 1862, the first $2 bill was issued as legal tender, um, a note in the um, United States, um, with a portrait of Alexander Hamilton. The portrait of Hamilton used um, was a profile view, different from the familiar portrait use in small size $10 bills since 1928. So since 1862, the $2 bill has been around. And as I stated before, and I'll read again, in reality, there are over 774 million $2 bills in circulation and, all, and they're all valid currency. Right. The Federal Reserve has been printing two dollar bills regularly since 1976. But when the last time have the millennials seen a two dollar bill unless it was given to as a gift? So as this man found out when going to Best Buy's. That the cashier was oblivious to what this bill was. So I thought it was hilarious. Um, I'm still amazed that this this um, short from three months ago is still receiving views. So I, I wanted to kind of um, bring this other video um, to the limelight showing that, hey, you can go to the bank, pick one up, or just like me, go to your local corn store and you can, luckily, you may find a sheet of these there. It's a good gift, a good gift that you can give to um, loved ones to the young people so they can actually see my daughter my daughter has a couple of the two dollar bills as well to let her know that hey this does exist other ones we don't see as much because we only see really ones fives tens twenties fifties and hundreds we don't see the larger denominations because they're not used in circulation as much some people may have have them if they're collectors right so these are some of the things that um we just not see, but something as small as a two dollar bill, I believe also, and someone in the um comments tell me we had a three dollar bill as well. Now, how long did that last? If anyone actually knows, okay. But definitely wanted to, sh to share that information um with you. Hey, if you want to support the channel, hit the like button, share the videos, or Donate to the channel by Cash App or PayPal. These are ways that you can help the channel grow. Um, these help me to give giveaways and all that beautiful stuff. So if you would like to send a Cash App or a PayPal, send it to jtcornrings at gmail.com. And I will definitely appreciate um, the love, okay? Now, what I want to talk about now is what happened in the community. Recently, I had a video um, of a member of the community, Adam Jam, sent me. If you go to this video here, it talks about that mail call. And he sent me some Morgans. So today, what I'll be doing is going to the workbench and I'll be uh, making one of the rings. Now, I'll start the process as I always do. Then I show the end process of the refining phase on another one. because I, I don't like doing the whole entire video all in once because I like to take my time in every process of the video. But if you look at the workbench, you'll see an actual Morgan there. And one of the things that um, Adam Jams gave me was about eight of these monsters. If you want to join me, tapes, you can join me on that. And I understand if you don't have time to you know wait another 30 minutes to an hour because everyone has you know it's a sunday it's time to relax before monday and not everybody ain't nobody got time for that